Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are doing more of the Fish Monster missions. And this one, this one's in mud water. Actually this one, it was a little bit difficult at first but then after that, as soon as I found out where the bark was it was pretty easy, it went pretty fast. So we need to get this spoon, once we get this spoon we can then catch the Dendro Fish Monster. So we need to obviously travel to mud water and we need to catch some bark so I'm gonna be fishing down here where you can see my guys lit up in orange anytime I do live streams I always use face camera mic anytime I make videos like this I just randomly hit record they always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made anytime there is updates for fishing planet we're downloading still as quick as we possibly can showing you new rods reels tackle boats and new lakes buying the DLCs getting in there showing you new hotspots how on what sort of stuff I use to catch them new unique fish. So fishing from here, it does work. I did, this was where I caught my very, very first bit of bark. As you can see there, it says one out of five. I've already caught one. But yeah, here it did take a little bit of time. It was a little bit slow going. So because of that, I did end up moving around a little bit. But don't worry, everywhere I am fishing and what I'm doing, obviously, you're going to be seeing. So... I'm using an X-Series medium spoon. Oh yeah, just to mention, we will be doing all the new missions when those new lakes drop. Them new missions that come out, we're going to be doing those as quick as we possibly can. Getting those uploaded, so that's a good reason to subscribe and turn notifications on. When you hit the bell, make sure it says all so you don't miss out on future updates on Fishing Planet. Also drop a like as well, it lets us know that you are still enjoying Fishing Planet. So I do have a few more casts here, as you can see. You don't necessarily have to use an X-Series medium spoon. I'm just using that just because what's, that's what's on there. But anything will do. Any type of spinning equipment. Again, you don't have to use the same spinning rod as me or the same line or even the same reel or anything like that. As long as you're fishing in the same location and you're casting to exactly where I'm casting, then you'll be able to get these tree bark pretty quick. I did try to get another one here. I actually caught it on real speed free. I didn't have any luck with Real Speed 2. Um, with Real Speed 1, that seemed to be what worked best for this. So that's what I ended up doing. Using Real Speed 1 for the rest of it seemed to work really good. But Real Speed 3 also. I don't know why Real Speed 2 doesn't, because it's in between <laughs> 1 and 3. But yeah, um, Real Speed 2 didn't work. You will also pull out a few other things whilst you're here as well. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to, when it says tree bark, as long as you pull in some kind of bark, it's fine. There's different types of bark you can catch from being in this place. But anyway, we're going to move to exactly where I did catch it. So just walking around here, and then there's a little path here just on our right. That's where we're going to go to. And then I have a few random casts, just casting around, seeing where I can find that bark and keep on finding it at a fast pace just so that way yeah it, sometimes doing these ones where you have to catch lily pads or barks or stuff like that some of these can be more difficult than actually catching the fish itself <laughs> it really can but once we get this spoon we'll then be able to do the monster mission and to catch that fish monster obviously we need to get this spoon so keep an eye out for the video after this. It will be coming very, very soon. Straight after this video will be me actually catching the fish monster here in this place. And I think I caught it up to around about £13-ish. So um, if you're doing these missions, maybe you might want at least a half a decent spinning rod to bring in a £13 fish. This place is a nice place to fish when you're a low level. Good place to get on the grind for catfish and bass and that kind of thing as well. Now, when them updates do drop, I'm going to also let you know about those updates. So as soon as I know about the updates, I will let you guys know, tell you what's in the update, what's coming. I, I always get excited for that. I kind of get like um, a little bit like a kid. I get, I, I'm like in, going into a sweet shop and I don't know what to choose. There's just too much good things. <laughs> yeah, I get a little bit hyped up for those updates. But I've been playing this game for nearly five years. So that's why when them updates drop, it gives me content and it gives me something to do. We've done every single mission all across Fishing Planet as well. So if there's an actual mission that you need to do and you're stuck, look across our channel and you will find it there. Also, fish monster missions, if you want to do other fish monster missions. Look across the channel for those as well. It's probably there. If it isn't, it will be there very, very soon. I'm doing, I've completed every single mission. I want to complete every fish monster mission. I've also shown other videos 
of other lakes, how to catch certain unique fish and where and what kind of gear I'm using, all of the good stuff that you need to know. So this is the point where I actually found where the bark is, which is just around about there. So I, I feel like casting at least about 90 foot. So 90 foot, I, I probably got the branches more probably around about 60 to 50 ish feet something like that but it seemed like it did work quite well me over casting casting that little bit further than reeling in but yeah that little tree branch there just in front of me so there you go there's a bit of bark as i said different types of bark you can pick up as long as it's barker then it will count so yeah casting to just there that's where i got the bark the most quickest soon as i found this spot i was just casting obviously around these three bits of tree and then, yeah, it seemed like that's what did it the quickest. Definitely that one on the left there. Cast just past it, just behind it. And then I kind of turned my rod to the right a little bit. So it's pointing towards that big bit of um, tree bark sticking out of the water. So that way I kind of try and get my spoon caught onto that bit of branch on the on the very far left there if that makes sense hopefully it does if there is any comments you can always leave it in the comment section below as well and i try and get back to you guys as quick as i possibly can so there's another piece of bark but again that piece of bark is slightly different to the other one but it doesn't matter it still counts it's all bark there will be a few other things that you pull in as well i did pull in a few other bits and pieces but the reason why i'm using this spoon it doesn't have to, as I mentioned, it doesn't have to be the same spoon. But the reason why I'm using this one is because it's a hash six hook. It's a bigger hook than the other hooks. In my, hopefully in my right theory, I'm thinking bigger hook. We might be able to hook up on to those branches or then bits of pieces that we need to get that a little bit easier. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, I'm guessing that as long as you've got some kind of lure on your spinning rod, then it will work. You could probably do it with a bait rod, but a spinning rod just seems the the proper way to do it so here's another tree bark that we have again it doesn't say tree bark but it's still bark so it it counts there we go so that's four we now need one more so you can fish over the other side where we started off where i did show you originally you could fish from there but i'm doing it just from here just because I feel like the angle here is slightly better. I'm probably even going to fish from this spot as well to catch the fish monster because normally wherever you're, you've got to catch certain fish or something like that for these fish monster missions, normally the fish monster is in the same place as well. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that video. It's going to be coming soon. Um, hopefully it doesn't take me too long to do it. <laughs> With a bit of luck, it won't. So here we go. We hooked up another piece of bark again slightly different to the other one but it still counts it's all bark that was our fifth piece that we needed to get this one was really quick once i found where where to cast i probably spent maybe i say about nearly an hour ish and most of that time was me trying to look for the actual find the actual spot but once i found a spot it was really quick so there we have it the mud water mission has been completed we now have the spoon which is going to get us that fish monster that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to show you. You could ob obviously pause the video at any point if you want the same setup as me. But this is what we're going for next. This is the um, fish monster. We've got equipped the spoon that we've just got from catching the bark. Make sure you've got enough room in your backpack as well to keep that bark. Because you can't release it. You have to put it in your backpack. Make sure you have enough room in your backpack. I should have mentioned that in the beginning, but at least I've said it now, I guess. <laughs> some cash and XP for doing that one as well, and some bait coins. So, yeah, good idea to um, to do this missions. Normally, I ain't really that bothered about doing them. I just do them because you guys like it when I show these videos. So, doing it more for you more than myself. Obviously, I always can do with bait coins, but I spend my real cash buying bait coins as well as DLCs. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to drop a like. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.